Hello everyone, welcome back to Poonam's Kitchen. Today we will make a very tasty and delicious spinach vegetable in a different way. We will put such a great tadka of ghee and garlic on it that the taste of the vegetable will double. Children and adults will eat the vegetable with pleasure. So let's start making it. I have taken a big bunch of spinach. I have removed its stalks and taken spinach leaves. I have washed it three times with water. I have put water in a pan to heat. I will add half a teaspoon of salt to it. I will add half a teaspoon of sugar. This will keep the color of spinach completely green. Salt and sugar have dissolved well in water and the water has come to a boil. I will put spinach leaves in it. I will press it and dip it in the water. We will not dip the spinach in the water immediately like this. Then the upper leaves of spinach will turn black and then the color of the vegetable will not be good. I have boiled it for 3 minutes. I will turn off the gas. I have taken very cold water from the fridge in a bowl. I will put spinach in it. Immediately take it out of the water and put it in it. So that the color of spinach remains completely green. We put very hot spinach in this water. So this water has also become a little hot. So take it out. Put cold water from the fridge in it again. Now keep the spinach in cold water for 2 to 3 minutes. Take out the spinach from the water in a strainer. We will make a puree of half of this spinach and chop the other half very finely. Make a puree of this much spinach. Grind it. Spinach puree is ready. Pour 2 tablespoons of oil in the pan. Add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. The cumin seeds have turned light brown. I have finely chopped 2 green chilies. I will add them. Fry lightly on low flame. I have finely chopped a slightly bigger onion. Stir continuously on medium flame and fry till the onion turns a little light brown. The onion has become soft well. Make a paste by grinding 5 to 6 garlic cloves and 1 inch piece of ginger. I will add this cooked ginger and garlic on medium flame for 2 minutes. The rawness of ginger and garlic should go away. Add a pinch of turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon coriander cumin powder. Stir well and fry it for a minute. We have added green chilies so we are not adding red chili powder in it. Add 2 teaspoons gram flour. Mix well and fry the gram flour as well. Roasted the gram flour well for 2 minutes on low medium flame. And you can see that foam is forming in it. Remove the seeds of a medium sized tomato and chopped it finely. Stir well. Add 1 teaspoon salt or you can add salt as per your taste. And cook it till the tomato becomes soft. We have added simple spices in it. Have not added any extra spices. Still this masala is frying. Its aroma is coming out very well. I have chopped half the spinach finely. Add this. Mix well and cook it on low flame for 2 minutes. Made spinach puree. Add this. Stir well. I have taken 1 quarter cup water in the mixer jar. Add this. Stir well. Cook on low flame for 2 to 3 minutes. Beat 2 tablespoons of curd well. Add this. Keep the flame of the gas very low. Mix well. We have already roasted gram flour in it, so if we add curd, it will not split. Mix it by stirring continuously. If you want to add cream instead of curd, you can add cream. But if we add curd, its taste will be very good. You can see how beautiful the color of spinach looks after adding curd. Add half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Mix well. Cook for one minute. After adding curd, do not cook it too much. Add one fourth teaspoon of sugar. Do not add too much. Spinach curry is ready. Turn off the gas. Take it out in a serving pan and add a tadka of garlic on it. This will double the taste of the curry. In the tadka pan, Add 1 tablespoon of desi ghee, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Fry the cumin seeds till light brown. Thinly slice 6 to 7 garlic cloves. Add these. Fry the garlic on low flame till it turns light brown. When the garlic turns light brown and crispy, turn off the gas. Add half a teaspoon of white oil. Add 3 dried red chilies. 
I have used Borea chili here. Pour this tatka over the vegetable. Spread the tatka in this way. A very tasty Lasuni Palak Ki Sabzi that tastes even better than Daba and restaurant is ready. You must try it once. If you like the recipe, like the video. Share it with your family and friends as much as possible. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. See you with another such new recipe. Till then bye bye and take care.